Hello, this is Alyssa of Nutrient Marketing. Um, we had reached out to you earlier and promised this free video. And anyways, here it is. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, I'm going to, I just really wanted to show you a few tips and tricks that um, you could really use to maximize your online business. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show, uh, just go over a couple things I really liked about your website. There's the click to call button here and uh, free on-site estimates. Uh, that really helps with conversions. Um, I also like some of the pictures you have done. Um, you know, it shows what you're capable of. Those are really great to have on a website. But something I um, noticed is there wasn't a whole lot of content. Um, and content is anything that I can highlight, whether it be text or images. Um, and the reason why you want a lot of content is so you can rank for a lot of different keywords. Uh, keywords, for example, concrete Los Angeles, uh, concrete repair company near me. Um, that's more of a national one, but uh, concrete resurfacing, resurfacing Los Angeles. Um, all of these keywords, um, they all have like their own individual search volumes per month. So 200 per month for concrete Los Angeles. And if you look, all of those uh, add up to a search volume of 1.4 thousand search volume for your area and field of work. Um, so there's a lot of volume to be had here. Um, and you're not getting all of them because you don't have the content with those keywords in them. So you're not, when people search for those keywords, they're not able to find you. And it's really, really important to put yourself in a position to be found. Um, and how you would do that would be having a website with a lot of different, lots of content. Um, so yeah, and I would even go as far as saving some of these images as those keywords and then re-uploading it to the website. So then that image now counts as content towards your website. So, uh, you know, it's a really sneaky way of inserting that keyword without actually putting it in your text. Um, so it, you know, uh, content and keywords are super, super important because, and crucial because when Google searches your website or they crawl your website, um, they see that not only you have that keyword, uh, sorry, th that content on your website, but also you have the keywords in there. Um, and it helps you rank faster and more efficiently. Um, and also Google feels that the more content you have on your website, the more likely you are to be an expert. And their whole goal is that whoever is searching on their platform gets that information quickly and efficiently. So they're going to rank the people who are more likely to be experts higher. So that is what I have to say about content and keywords. Um, as for that, I'm going to move on to my next, uh, my next tip for you. And that would to be building upon this Google business profile. So, and what I mean by that, uh, you know, it would be really maximizing your chance to get as much traffic online as possible. Um, there's a, when people search for any given keyword, there's a lot of ways in which they can convert over as a client. Um, I'm going to go over here to this next tab. This has the first few things that I'm going to actually go over. So when people search for the keywords, you know, first of all, there are these local ads here. Now these capture the people who, uh, click on the very first thing that they see. Um, it is also Google guaranteed up to a certain dollar amount. So, uh, basically what that means is when something happens or something goes wrong, those who are using the local ads, uh, they trust that, um, Google will make it right monetarily. Um, it also has a high conversion rate and ha when you, because whenever you hover your mouse over these local ads, it has the amount of years that the company was, has been in business and the company's phone number. So when someone clicks on that and they're already taking their time of day to call you, they're more likely to convert over as a client. Um, so that's why those have a high conversion rate. The Google ads themselves, unfortunately do not, um, have a high conversion rate. Um, they are located just under the local ads. So, um, they do provide that chance to be seen by a lot of different people. Um, and they are also a lot cheaper. Um, and I know that this is not your expertise, your area, your field of work. However, I just wanted to show you what those first two looked like. Um, I'm going to go back over to this tab here. Uh, you know, 
Uh, I'm going to talk about the Google Map Pack. People who search this way, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. I am one of these people. I also like to see how far of a drive they are from me. So if I had to drive to their uh, place of service or just their company, I know how to get there. Um, but anyways, this can uh, pull a great deal amount of traffic to these top three. So if we were looking at a keyword that has a search volume of 200, you're looking at 160 going straight to those top competitors here. Um, and there goes the majority of that traffic, just gone. But another way you can pull traffic to your website is ranking organically. So ranking organically, the concept is pretty simple. Um, basically, the higher your ranking in Google, the uh, more traffic you're going to pull to your website. So these people up here are doing way better than the people all the way down here. And people rarely go to that second page of Google. So it's really important that if you're going to rank organically, that you're ranking high enough in order to be seen on that first page of Google. Um, and so then I'm going to move on to my third and final tip for you. Um, it does have to do with ranking organically, but this is where we get technical. Um, so ranking organically, in order to do that, you do need to build the web, your uh, website, the strength of your website. Um, by adding backlinks and referring domains. So I plugged you into this little tool that I use to kind of show where you're at um, on your online presence. So um, with backlinks, unfortunately, they're not all created equal. You have poor quality ones and good quality ones. You want a majority of your backlinks to be good quality ones because those poor quality ones are not going to do much for you. Um, as for the referring domains, the best way to describe what that is is to give the example of uh, somebody blogging about the services that you provided them and they have a link back to your website. That would be a referring domain. So those have a lot of power and the more power you have, the higher these numbers are going to be. Uh, generally with contractors uh, and uh, just, you know, concrete repair, we really want to see you guys in the 20s, 30s, 40s range. You're in the 20s range with UR, DR, you're at a 7. We also want you to add a 1 to 1 ratio. So maybe getting that DR up, you have 191 backlinks, 70 referring domains, ranking for 356 organic keywords, and generating an organic traffic of 122. So you're probably thinking, not bad, uh, but let's take a look at one of your competitors and see where they're at. So I decided to choose, I think I chose these guys here, Concrete Repair Los Angeles uh, Experts, I think. No, um, give me one moment. Well, actually, no, I believe I, I, did, I did these guys here. But um, anyways, they uh, have a lot of content here. Not Well, yeah, they could probably do more content. But regardless, I really wanted to show you where they are at. Um, they are in the 20s range. I think you are beating them and you are. Yes, by one, you are beating them there. However, they are more at a one-to-one -one ratio. They have a DR of 35, 332 backlinks, referring domains of 133, ranking for 1.7 thousand organic keywords, and generating an organic traffic of 351. And so now I'm going to kind of show you what organic keywords that you, they are ranking for. Um, they're ranking for a lot of these service keywords. You definitely want to rank for the service keywords rather than your name, because when people are searching um, for the service that you're offering, they're looking for the service and they're going to put that service in, not the name of your company. So I'm going to take a look at your organic keywords. Um, uh, so it looks like you do have a lot of those uh, service keywords as well. Um, but if we take a look at some of the um, competition on here, so you have a lot of double digits here. You want more of those uh, single digit ones. They have low competition. Um, these guys have a lot of low competition up here, uh, a lot more low competition keywords. So they're going to be ranking in more key, you know, higher in more keywords. So that's definitely something to take in consideration. There's a lot that you can do to bump yourself up in Google and increase your online traffic. Um, I honestly would like you to leave with 
the the fact that we probably it would probably be best to add more of those backlinks and referring domains and adding more of that content and um, keywords to your website. Um, I hope this has been helpful and informative. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to reach out. Either my husband or I would love to get in touch with you in whatever time fits for you. And so with that, I hope you have a great day and God bless.